What's up guys and welcome back to another TK Tech video and if you're still looking for a secret Santa gift, I think this might be the one. There are so many things in my house, probably in your house, that you wish you could automate. Light bulbs, microwave, kettle, washing machine, whatever the device is. There's probably a smart equivalent of it and it'll probably cost you a fortune. SwitchBot is a company that essentially just makes products that tries to retrofit the current devices that you have to make them smarter. Now this little gadget here is a robot arm that you can attach to any button or switch on any device or your wall and control it remotely. So let's get into it. On the back you've got a bunch of different examples they've put, so light switch, coffee machine, computer, thermostat. It's got a 600 day battery but it's replaceable which is really good to see. It means that you don't have to worry about you know, the battery life finishing and having to get another device. And this side it shows you how easy it is to set up. Okay. Quite simple packaging, there's nothing much to it, and there you have it. It also comes with, sorry, a set of instructions that I missed, and some accessories, which we'll look into in a sec. As you can see, this thing is tiny. Okay, so the first thing I ask you to do is download the app, SwitchBot. Actually, the first thing you should do is peel this off. There we go. Now you've got some adhesive at the back here, which I forgot to mention, which is what sticks to the wall. I hope it's strong enough to be able to stay there strongly. And I just want to quickly check out the battery that this thing has, just because I want to see how easy it is to replace. Pop this open. As you can see, probably not one of the most common batteries ever, but I'm sure you can find this battery somewhere online at least. Now let's just click our bots nearby, and you can see it's detected, well, what it's named, Bot 40, but obviously you can name whatever you want. If you go into this, you can see that there are different modes, you can set a password to it. You can even schedule it to turn on and off at different times of the day. Then we click on mode. And in mode, it lets you switch between the different switch modes. Because as you can imagine, there are some switches that require a long press, some switches that you know require the button to be continually pressed in. The normal light switch that I have on the wall is like a rocker switch. So I'm gonna keep it in something called switch mode. So these are the two modes that it has here, switch and press mode. I'll keep it in switch mode and I'll show you what it does. So if I go back and I click off, you can see it's got this little arm that moves in and out. If I click back on, there you go. Now if I move it onto a different mode, if I put it onto a press mode, this tucks it all the way back in. This is a mode that lets you press like buttons, for example, on a computer. You press it and it would release and tuck back in. But we're gonna keep it on switch mode because that is what we want it for. So I'm gonna attach it to my wall and we'll see how it works. So if I had a rocker switch, which is what most light switches are, you can see that this thing would be quite easy to push the light switch on. But how would it then turn it off? Because you have to kind of press the other, the top part, the top part of the button. Well, that's where these little uh, accessories come in. What we have in here is these little tiny tabs. So these little tabs here, they will stick onto the switch and then using the string if you can see it, because it's so thin, it would actually hook on to this robot arm, allowing the robot arm to essentially pull the switch to turn it off. The first thing you wanna do is just peel off the adhesive cover. You wanna stick it just below the switch that you're trying to control. Well, in this case, it's a switch, but it could be a button. Then with this little accessory, you wanna stick that to the same switch at the bottom and hook the plastic loop onto the actual arm of the robot. This part's a bit finicky, but once you get it in, it's not really gonna go anywhere. So now the switch is all set up and it's connected to my phone. If I click the off button, it turns it off, and if I click it back on, it turns it on. You can pick this up for less than $25 on Amazon right now. I think it would make a really good late secret Santa gift or something to quickly add to the stockings. I actually just wanna show you the app because I've got a lot more devices on here that are quite cool. They've got a robot so you can automate your curtains. Uh, they've got a lock, they've got the thermostat, and they've got a bunch of cameras. What I do you find it has slightly mis misleading though is that on the box they've put that it's compatible with Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant. The thing is, this is not connected to Wi Fi. This connects to your device by Bluetooth. So you can't control it through like Alexa or Google Home because those need a Wi Fi connection. So actually, what you have to do is buy a SwitchBot hub thing which you connect to Wi Fi and that connects to this via Bluetooth. And so you have to kind of indirectly control it through that hub device. 
it's probably not worth it if you're just going to buy one of these but if you're going to buy a bunch of the different devices that will definitely be a good thing to add on anyway guys i really hope you enjoyed this video i wasn't paid for it this wasn't sent to me i honestly just bought it for myself because i thought it was really cool and actually needed something like this so yeah please let me know what you think in the comments below and give me some ideas what else i could use this for because at the moment i'm using it just for my lights but i want to know if you guys can think of any other uses for it anyway that's it from me and i'll see you in another ticket video